Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub, where we teach you everything that you need to learn in UiPath. So today in this chapter, we are going to learn how to find a phone number. So we are into chapter number five on regular expressions, and we will see how to find phone number when your phone number is in a different format all the time right so uh, let's get started before that please do like all the videos that you are watching in UiPath Expo Hub please do comment and let us know how do you feel about it so let's get started so let's say I simply say my phone number is and I write a number okay it's a 10 digit number so the simple way to do that is you put a backslash D for identifying the digit characters from 0 to 9 right and then in the curly braces i am going to say 10 okay so that way it is highlighting but the problem is if somebody writes my phone number is let's say somebody writes in this way 1 2 3 give a space 4 5 6 give a space 7 8 9 0 so people can write in very different format so now this is not being highlighted so what to do for this one and sometimes people also may write something like this right my phone number is people may say put a dash four five six seven eight nine zero so these are the formats that people may type in so how do you identify so this is not coming as an output this is not been highlighted only the first one is highlighted right so how to do that so for that what i will do i'll put a backward slash right and then say d and in curly braces the first one is three character right and then d and then the uh, second one is of how many characters three characters and then the next one is again of four character right so if i do this what is happening i am not able to highlight the second and third one right so to do that what i will do after writing d3 here after just after that what i'm going to write i'll put a square bracket and inside the square bracket hit on the space bar because there could be a space or there could be a hyphen right and this is optional and then what i will do i am going to repeat the same thing for all of this so let me highlight and copy this over here and copy okay so just by doing that what has happened you can see all my second and third has been highlighted now so that has become output so what is the understanding of that so first is d3 which is looking for three digits and after that you may have a space or you may have a hyphen which is optional so it can highlight the first one also and then again three digits and the same thing and then last is the four digit so with this i am able to get as an output all three different types of phone number but we are not done yet okay so let's say let's say uh, you know you wanted to uh, you know get the output in a given format even though there are various format and you want to get the output in the let's say the first or the second or the third format right so how to do that for that we will utilize something called grouping okay so we will utilize something called grouping so i have taught in the previous chapter so grouping is nothing but you know using the moon bracket i will go to beginning where i am selecting the first three digits put a moon bracket there okay and then come over to the end close it and the same thing you do again for the next digit where you are selecting and then go to the end and place it here and do it for the third one so what is happening by doing this if you see okay that has to be see i, I have made a mistake here this has to be before this okay not after that okay so that become a grouping and the third one is again here and you complete your grouping so by by doing that what has happened there are three different groups got created so if i highlight the first one or the second one or the third one okay go to click on details and here in the details you will see uh, let's say I'm selecting the first one. Okay, so the first one group one is one two three because I put a moon bracket 
second one is 456 and the third group is 4890 similarly when i highlight the second number it is again grouping all these three digits 3334 three, okay so this is the groups it has created now what i want i want in a specific format right so what i will do click on replace okay here you click on replace and here what i will do just simple say dollar dollar symbol and the group one right group one is one two three one two three from all the numbers so this numbers could be different okay let's say nine nine eight zero sorry nine nine eight so what would happening so that is becoming a let, let me change this okay so it is checking what are what are the things there in the group one so it has shown you all the group after that let's say i want to put a uh, dash symbol and then i want to say group two dollar two and dash symbol dollar three so what is happening now the output if you see for all the phone number this is the proper format which has come okay so you want to format something in a given uh, particular uh, uh, way so this is how you format let's say my phone number is uh, plus nine one right plus nine one one two three four five six uh, 7890 so this is the number now uh, with this with this how do you uh, how do you ensure uh, you know you also capture this kind of a number so plus 91 i want to capture i want to capture the uh, country code so if you want to capture the country code in case it is there so what i will do i'll first start with a you know moon bracket and here inside that i will give a backward slash uh, and the first character is plus n right so i will use a plus and plus is a special character right so that's why i have to use a backward slash and then followed by 91 um, and 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 what is happening after that plus 91 and after that you got a space so what do you do okay i i put this one um, square bracket give a space and there could be a dash as well right so i'll use a dash so what is happening now you see the entire number has been highlighted but it is missing the first top three okay now to get all of this number what you do give a optional so when you put an optional uh, now it is capturing all the, all the kind of phone numbers okay this is what uh, you need to understand now you can see uh, you know if you give it to someone who doesn't know simple this regular expression uh, people might think oh this is quite complicated but it's not complicated when you go step by step it becomes quite easy okay and we can see now the all the four different types of phone number has been captured as the output okay so we got the output what we wanted so uh, this is a simple uh, example on regular expression so we'll come up with more practical examples and also we will see how to utilize that inside ui path okay so till now we are learning everything on regular expression site but we need to learn in ui path how do i implement that in ui path we are going to come up with more such examples so thank you for continuing please do like all the videos that you're watching on uipath expo hub please do comment what you felt about them thank you very much for all your support and you guys have a wonderful day